Guys, welcome back to another. It's me, Catherine Campscom. Welcome back to another Deadly Chelsea transfer news video. Where today I'll be talking about Noni Madueke signing for Chelsea, Moises Casado's bid, along with a mystery midfielder, Yves Basuma, all things Chelsea. So, without further ado, if you're new, I'm Catherine Campscom, and I do Daily Chelsea transfer news videos. 850 subs soon, road to a thousand, and 80% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So, if you get that number down, that'd be great. But without further ado, let's get on the first story. And yesterday, I was speaking about Noni Madueke and how some reports were saying how, you know, um, PSV wanted the 40 million euros and some reports saying, yeah, Chelsea needed a lot to actually sign him. Four hours later, we go to Fabrizio Romano who has said, Noni Madueke to Chelsea, here we go. Verbal agreement in place with PSV and a permanent deal around 35 million euro package. Madueke will sign a long-term deal in a few days, strongly wanted by Chelsea board. Contracts being prepared and then he was off to London. So again, following suit, all our signings, young. Long term, relatively cheap, not so mudric, but yeah, relatively cheap, about £30 million. But now, I'm going to go to Fabrizio Amano again this morning, who has said, Noni Madueke is currently undergoing main part of his medical test as new Chelsea player arriving in London on Thursday night. Contracts being checked, then deal will be completed with PSV Eindhoven on the €35 million Euro package. And, as of now, um, recording this at about 12 o'clock, the medical looks like to be complete, seven year deal. Welcome to Chelsea, Noni Madueke, um, very exciting player, 20 years old, winger, with this winger, another winger coming in, uh, it looks like either Ziyech or Pulisic or maybe both would be out the door this window, if not next. But yeah, very exciting, not the £40 million that was um, you know, quoted yesterday, £30 million, more happy with that, 20 years of age, as I said, got the world at his feet and going to leave you with some stats. Of the 317 players to have made 30 plus appearances, Noni Madueke has the best mins per successful dribble return every 22 minutes since the start of the 2020-21 Eredivisie season. Successful dribbles is what we need in the Chelsea team. I think Mason Mount in the Premier League is our leader with about 2.2 of a game, but he's a winger, exciting winger, likes to run at the uh, defence. Successful dribbles and hopefully, I don't think, well, he won't be starting against um, Liverpool, but Teams like that get out their defence and hopefully help Chelsea actually win some games. On to the next story. And now the other big story is that Moises Casado last night, Chelsea bid. I'm going to go to Jacobs Ben who has said, Total Chelsea offer I'm told as reported yesterday was £65 million, pounds, 55 plus £10 million, With Brighton, Valor and Casado at £75 plus million. Although not planning to sell Casado in January, it will be interesting to see if Chelsea go any higher and test that resolve. So yeah, Brighton just somehow know how to swindle us, get everything, every last penny out of Chelsea. I said yesterday 55 million would be, you know, an okay price for Casado. 55 plus 10 add-ons, um, 65, but of course Brighton won 75 plus for Casado. I'm going to go to Simon Phillips Sport, who carries on by saying, Brighton will let Moises Casado go if terms are met. They won't stop the player from leaving if he wants to go. They want 75 million pounds i'm not sure if chelsea will go back in but they might try and make it up in bonuses oh chelsea fans what you think of uh casado he's not quite Enzo fernandez but as i said yesterday if we're willing to pay 75 million for casado uh, ffp is in the mud really top Bowley seems to have all the money in the world just get enzo fernandez and earlier this morning the serbi who is um brighton's manager said I hope he finishes the season with us, but it's always difficult to be certain. The best solution is that he finishes the season with us, and for him, in the summer, it's better than if he changes teams. So, it looks like, you know, it's out of his control whether he leaves in the January, but he'd prefer to leave in the summer. Personally, if it was left to the summer, I don't think we'd be signing him, but a midfielder is very important. Jorginho's going to be out the door, so it's important we sign a midfielder. But, on to the next story. Going to Nizar Kinsella who has said Chelsea are increasingly open to signing midfielder on loan after having a £55 million bid for Moises Casado rejected by Wrighton. Now this might be the mystery midfielder that I was talking about yesterday. Likes of Frank Kessia, Yves Basuma, players that fit that mould. I'm going to go to Matt Law who said breaking Chelsea inquired for Yves Basuma but Tottenham do not want to sell. So it could be like Basuma could be coming on loan if Chelsea can't buy current Brighton midfielders, they can buy former Brighton midfielders from Tottenham. Of course, very interesting, but you know, Chelsea are definitely gonna sign another midfielder. So I'll keep you updated on that. But finally, it's Friday and Chelsea are playing Liverpool at 12.30 at Anfield tomorrow. Very, very big game. Two banner clubs facing off against each other. Be interesting to see what happens there. 
I'm going to go positive. 2-1 victory. Liverpool right now are terrible. Chelsea are terrible. But hopefully with we won last game, can go on from that with the new signings boosting team morale would be even better. But yeah, hopefully they win. See you tomorrow where hopefully Chelsea win three points and we'll know about our midfield situation. See you then.